Hello, I'm Jishan Chen from the Australian National University. Today, I present object detection for graphical user interface, old-fashioned or deep learning or combination. My co-author are Mu Longxie, Zheng Changxing, Chen Yangchen, Xi Weixu, Li Mingzhu, and Guo Qiangli. Detecting GUI elements is fundamental for many downstream tasks. For example, GUI automation, GUI code generation. However, existing object detection techniques are not originally designed for designed with the awareness of the unique characteristic of GUI and the GUI element. For example, for GUI elements, they have large in-class variants, while for physical objects, they would show many shape, appearance, and physical constraints in common within one class. For example, for the image view element, it could contain various content. And for the progress bar, it could be circular, vertical, and horizontal. Secondly, GUI elements have a high have high intra-class similarity, while physical objects have distinct features across classes. For example, the difference between button and spinner is that the spinner has additional rectangle uh, triangle on the right side. In terms of GUI level, there are also two features of the GUI element. First, GUI should be considered as a pack scene, and it has many close by elements. Here shows the box plot of our dataset and the common object detection dataset, Microsoft Cocom. It is obviously that our dataset is more pack complex than Cocom dataset. Secondly, GUI, should, uh, GUI is a mix of heterogeneous objects. For example, it could contain uh, image and the text. However, the image itself may contain additional text, which should not be considered as a single text element. Furthermore, GUI element detection requires high accuracy. For example, for GUI texting, if the detecting, detection result is not accurate, the emulator may click on the background in well or predict wrong next action. In comparison, in natural scene object detection, the constraint is loose. So let's first talk about the existing techniques for object detection. Object detection could uh, normally uh, separated into two steps, region detection, uh, which means to locate the element, and region classification, which means to classify the detected region. Let's first talk about the object detection for non-text element. It could broadly uh, divide it into two kinds, old-fashioned or deep learning. All fashion method normally start from the pixel and detect the edge and contour and then gradually merge them into the final object. Another kind of method of the old fashioned method is template matching. It requires a predefined set of template so that the model could find a match in the image with the template. However, such method is inefficient is infeasible because GUI elements have diverse shape, size, visual look, and feel. For deep learning, it has three major model style, anchor-based two-stage model, anchor-based one-stage model, and anchor-free model. Anchor-based model means to have a predefined set of anchor with different scales and aspect ratios. And the model use this anchor to locate the object in the feature map. In comparison, anchor-free model do not require the predefined set of anchor box. It instead uh, predicts the two corner of the object and then assemble the corners to form the final objects. And for the two-stage uh, model means that uh, the model would perform 
region detection and region classification in a pipeline while one stage model performed them simultaneously. For text detection model, it could also be uh, divided into two kinds of model. The first kind, the, the first representative is Tesseract, which is designed for the uh, document test. And the second kind is deep learning syntax detector, for example, EAST. So, we, we, so therefore, we conduct the first large-scale empirical study of having both old-fashioned and deep learning methods. We consider three research questions regarding uh, the performance and the sensitivity. We use the data, the recall data set, and after some data preprocessing, we obtain about 50,000 GUIs from 8,000 8, applications among 27 categories, which contain 497,000 text elements and 426,000 non text elements. We use five, five more, we, we use five baseline for non-text element detection and two baseline for text detection. This selective model cover the major model style. Let's begin our first research question. How effective can different methods detect the region of non-text non GUI elements in terms of the accuracy of predictive bounding boxes and the coverage of GUI elements? Here is the result. It is um, old fashioned method performed much worse than the deep learning method. Let's take a look at their result. As we can see from this example, IMAUI suffers from the inefficient background denoising algorithm and thus lead to the over segmentation problem. On the other hand, since the GUI has many close by elements, this old-fashioned method would mistakenly merge uh, close by element into one element and, and then lead to the over-segmentation problem. The positive uh, side of this old-fashioned method is that when they located the true object, uh, the bounds are accurate, as we can see from the menu icon here. For the deep learning model, faster RCM performs the best. It is the two-stage anchor box-based model. Here are some examples for these three deep learning models. We found that this model could locate some element. However, for anchor-based model, the detective bounding boxes may not be very accurate due to the statistic regression model. In comparison, anchor-free models could uh, achieve higher accuracy when locating objects. However, it would sometimes mistakenly, mistakenly assemble two corners from two different objects and lead to the mistaken mistakes. Here shows the performance among all models at different IOU threshold. The performance of deep learning model um, decrease significantly as the IOU threshold increase. <laughs> as a conclusion for our research question one, we have three points. The first, deep learning model significantly outperform all fashion detection method. Secondly, two-stage anchor box based models perform the best in non-text GUI element detection. And the third one is it is challenging for deep learning models to achieve a good balance between the accuracy of detective bounding boxes and the detective GUI elements, especially for anchor-free models. Let's move on to our third research question. How sensitive are deep learning techniques to anchor box setting and amount of training data? In terms of a different anchor box setting, we have four types of setting. Default Default customized union and intersection. Default means to text the default setting from Cocoa dataset. Customized setting is drawn from the distribution of our dataset. Unions and intersection setting means to text the union areas of the two overlapping box from 
both default and customized setting or the intersection area from them. And we find that anchor box settings do not significantly affect the performance of anchor box based model. In terms of the amount of training data, two stage anchor box based model is the easiest to train, while one stage anchor box model is the most difficult to train. So, um, uh, even the existing techniques often treat text and non text elements separately. We would also like to know whether could we use a unified model to detect both elements. Here shows the result. From this table, we can see that all models degree in detecting non-text element. And, and uh, only the, only the anchor-free one-stage model, SentinelNet, has comparable performance in detecting non-text and text element. But the result is still poor. So that we should not detect GUI text and non-text element in a unified model. So how should we detect the text element? Should we detect it, should we recognize the text element as a document-like or syntax element? The result from the test rec and east model shows that GUI element is more similar to syntax. And we could find that in this example, GUI text element has low, would sometimes have low contrast with the background and has various size font shape. Therefore, we could directly borrow the deep learning syntax recognition model to detect our GUI text element. According to the observation from the empirical study, we propose our model, UIED, a synergy of deep learning and old fashioned model. We adopt two stage architecture. We re reuse major deep learning techniques to detect text element and classify region. And most importantly, we design a normal old fashioned method with a top down cost to find strategy and a set of GUI specific image processing algorithms. Now, let me talk about the non-text element detection module. We observe that GUIs tends to group the GUI elements in, in a block, and the block would normally be rectangle. Therefore, we first perform block detection to detect the, this block. And then we binarize the image based on a gradient map instead of a purely pixel. And then we obtain the binarized blocks. After that, we perform connected component labeling to detect the content elements in each block. Notice that we do not use the edge, we, we do not use the popular candy edge detection because it would capture too much fine grain feature. However, in our task, we only the, the we focus more on the on detecting the shape of the element instead of the fine detail of the element. And finally, we fit the detected region into a CNN classifier to classify the, the region. The result is finally merged with the result from text element detection. And here, here shows the result of our models. For non-text element, our model outperformed the best baseline, faster RCNN. And uh, for the all elements, our model also outperformed the best unified model, center net, in a large margin. Here shows the some example for our models. The result uh, it, it indicate that our model is more resilient to noise and it could detect more GUI elements. And it also could locate more accurate bounding boxes with less overlapping bounding boxes. Um, because we perform accurate pixel analysis rather than statistical regression in higher layer of CNN. There are more examples. 
we perform value analysis for our model, we find that same look and feel UI region may correspond to different types of ridges, and this would confuse our model. Secondly, our model would produce inconsistent detection result for repet re repeat repetitive region in a dense UI. As you can see from this example, our model do not detect the IOW publishing while it successfully detects the Marvel comics. And lastly, it would be sometimes challenging to distinguish uh, whether a text region is a text element or a part of a widget that containing text. Here shows an example, the USA is uh, in fact a part of the spinner, however our model detect directly ignore it. And here shows the region classification here shows the region classification result and the overall result of the object detection. As you can see here, our model outperform all baseline. As our future world, we would like to consider the existence of repeated patterns to try to retrieve missed elements by looking at other repeated blocks, as we mentioned in our failure analysis. We also developed a tool demo, and please free, free, feel free to use it. That is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your time.